Welcome back to the Thinkorswim tutorial series. Today we're going to be covering how to organize your monitor page by creating groups. Now the entire purpose behind creating groups in Thinkorswim is to make this monitor page much more manageable. When you're only holding a few positions, this isn't going to be super important, but once you start trading a lot of different products, whether that be stock, options, ETFs, futures, etc., uh, grouping symbols is going to make, make your life much easier. Um, definitely easier to find those positions, exit them when need be. Uh, and you can also create different headers up at the top for each of those groups. So, for example, my options group might have things like Delta Gamma Theta Vega, whereas my stock positions are only going to have quantity, trade price, and mark. Um, so you have a lot more customization once you create those groups. Now, Thinkorsome also offers their own pre-made templates inside of here. Now, to access those, all you have to do is click on those three little lines in the top right-hand corner. You're going to go down to Group Symbols By. We're going to see all the grouping options on the right-hand side. And just for example purposes, we're going to click on Sector. And we're going to see all of my stock and options in the account get kind of grouped into their, their uh, applicable sectors. Now, if we look down here, we can see things like Apple and Square got thrown into Information Tech. We can see IQ and, and AT&T got thrown in Communication Services. I've seen most of the time this does work pretty well. Every once in a while, it kind of throws them into their own crazy categories that don't seem to apply. Um, now, what we're going to do is actually create our own groups. So let's go ahead and undo this. And we're going to create our own groups for, let's say, stock, options, and ETFs. Now, we're going to throw in our stock into their own group. And the way we're going to do that is simply right-click on, in this case, American Airlines. We're going to say Move to Group. And the first time we create a group, we've got to add it. We're going to name this one Stock. And there we go. American Airlines got thrown into the stock group. And we're going to do the same thing for all of our other stock positions. Right click, move to group, move it into stock. I think that's fine for right now. And we're going to create another one called ETF for our many ETFs in this account. We'll go ahead and right click, move to group. And again, we don't have the ETF group created yet. So we're going to go ahead and name that right now. And there we go. And we'll do the same thing for our ETFs here. All right, I think that's good for right now. Now, if you wanted to remove a symbol from the group, all you have to do is right click on the symbol, say move to group, and move it back to unallocated. And then it goes back to this unallocated group. Now, what I would recommend is if you are somebody who is actively trading, you move your long-term holds into their own pre-made groups, and you leave those those either stock options, futures that you're trading actively that you need to see all the time in this unallocated group. Now, the purpose behind that is because those new trades are automatically going to show in this group and you don't have to move them from group to group. So it's just going to make your life easier. I will tell you when you're first setting this up, it can be a little bit of a pain. Uh, but once you've got it going, it's going to make your life much, much easier. And like I said before, you can also create your own column headers for each of these groups. So let's say for stock, we no longer need the days column. And instead, we wanted to add PL percentage. So if you saw me before, I clicked on that little gear icon in the top right hand corner. We're going to get rid of days and we're going to add percentage. And there we go. So we can see that the day column got removed and we added PL percent, but you can see that it did not affect those two other groups. So, like I said before, if you've got an options group, you've got a stock group, you can add those columns that are most applicable to those products. All right, so that was the uh, the grouping feature on Thinkorswim. Please uh, comment below if you've got any other questions on Thinkorswim. I'm happy to help any way I can. Uh, but be on the lookout for more of these tutorial series on Thinkorswim. Catch you guys on the next one.